So the normal first time PC builder usually takes an entire day or the entire weekend to build their first computer. So in this video, we're gonna see how fast an enthusiast like me can get one done. Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Now for those of you that don't have a VPN, <laughs> you really need to have one. For those of you that don't know, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and what it does is it helps protect you when you use the internet. If you don't use one, you leave yourself open to any malicious person who wants to get a hold of your data and information. I have had a friend of mine have his identity stolen online, and to be honest, it wouldn't have happened if he had a VPN. It also wouldn't have happened if he was not going on websites he shouldn't have been on, but yes, a VPN could have prevented that. Now, there are other uses to a VPN. For example, let's say hypothetically you are a person who is suffering from something called called Article 13, then you already know that your internet experience is being dramatically censored. And the only way around that would be to use a VPN. Anyways, NordVPN is hooking us up with a special offer. They are giving you 75% off of a three year plan. That's available at nordvpn.com slash Christopher Yee. I have the link on screen as well as in the description. So go ahead and check that out. Please trust me, you do need a VPN. The rules are simple. As soon as I start the timer, I'm gonna try to put this computer together as fast as I can and it officially counts as built once we see a post on a monitor. I'm trying to speed run this computer build similar to how Jay's Two Cents did it. For those of you who don't know who Jay's Two Cents is, you probably live under a rock. He's one of the biggest computer PC tech YouTubers out there and he also has a video similar to what I'm doing right now. So I figured what better opportunity on a day where I don't have a lot of time to time myself. So we're gonna try to do the same thing that Jay did where we have for the most part the rest of the parts box but the case will start off unboxed. He built his computer in just over an hour, so we are gonna try to beat that time. Now, obviously this isn't an apples to apples comparison because we are using different parts than what he used, but this will still give a pretty good idea of how fast I am. Also, to make this a little bit more interesting, not all of these parts are brand new. This graphics card came used in an Amazon return box, and this motherboard actually came from a fan for free However, upon giving it to me, he told me that he actually fried his processor doing some weird overclocking in this. So both of these parts, I'm not entirely sure if they work. So while I might finish this build correctly and get a really good time, there's no guarantee that it's gonna work. So now that you caught up to speed, let's quickly go over the parts. So the first two parts we're gonna be talking about are the case and the power supply. For the power supply, we have a Pure Power 11, which is a 600 watt gold rated power supply from Be Quiet. And our case is a Dark Base Pro 900, also from Be Quiet. For our RAM, we have 16 gigabytes of RGB Trident Z, which is made by G-Skill, and it is clocked at 3000 megahertz speed, which actually works really well because of our processor. Our CPU is going to be a Ryzen 7, 2700, the non-X variant, which is an incredibly powerful processor. It has eight cores, 16 threads, and can handle just about anything you would want to throw at it. Now for the cooler, this does actually come with a stock Wraith cooler. However, I wanted to make this look a little bit nicer. So we do have a Wraith prism that we're going to be using instead of the traditional stock cooler. For our graphics card, we have an RTX 2070. This is the Asus ROG Strix variant. It is an amazing looking card, and obviously it performs very well too. I just... I hope that it works. And for our motherboard, we are gonna be using a ROG Strix B450F motherboard. It is not the most powerful of motherboards, it doesn't come with a ton of features, but it does look somewhat nice. And you know what, we're still matching by going with the ROG Strix versions. And then lastly, for our drive, we are using an M.2 SSD. It is 120 gigabytes from Pioneer. Yes, they mainly make audio equipment, but this was a really cheap $20 drive, so I figured I'd go ahead and pick it up. So now that we've gone over all the parts, without further ado, let's get started. Hold up, this thing actually looks so clean. By the way, quick uh, little pro tip. Cases, when you get them brand new, they usually do come in this little cloth sheet as well as the uh, styrofoam pads. After you touch those, you usually have a lot of static going through your body. So before you start touching the cases, make sure you reground yourself, go touch something. I'm gonna go do that really quickly so that I don't fry any of the parts. All right, ready, ready? set, go. Get this shit out the way. This, this. Oh, there's already thermal paste on it. I'm cheating, let's go. I can't see the triangle, I'm going blind. I'm actually choking under pressure, holy. Oh, I need tissues, I need tissues. Just 
of space. Wait, it doesn't have the back, all oh, the brackets. This is ruining my time. I have another motherboard, hold up. We're improvising. I refuse to pause the timer because I am a trooper. I can overcome this. It's not coming off. All right, it's off. The transplant, let's go. Oh, please tell me this is the same dimensions. I'm gonna actually kill someone. You ain't going to shit. All right, we got it. We're back. Why did no one tell me that I was screwing the brackets the other way? Uh, I'm just gonna go second and fourth. Um, screw it in the case now. Oh, no, 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 M.2, M.2. I need my small screw. Why didn't I have my tools prepared? Why did no one remind me? I am a big boy. This is actually the story of my life. I cannot find the hole. Wait, is that my screw? Wait, I found it. I found it. Alright. We'll clean that up later. Alright, we gotta get all this shit out of the case. Okay, wait a second. This case is actually so much more complex than I thought. Faster, what do we got? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Don't turn around. Just don't turn around. Don't turn around. The timer's not there. No one's gonna judge you if you don't finish under an hour. Just yourself and your parents and everyone on YouTube, your future girlfriend. Don't laugh at me. Don't say future girlfriend was funny. I'll get her one day. And if I can't get her organically, I'm sure there's enough money I can pay someone. What's next? Uh, power supply? Yeah, just power supply. How does it get in? Wait, what? I've never, what? It has a switch and everything on the back. Hello? This is some weird shit. I'm gonna be honest with you right now. How, 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 how? What is it like this? No, no, that's that's not slim thick. That's not gonna fit in there. How does it get in there? Does this part come up? Is the front? On oh God, this is the most great case I've ever worked with. Thanks, be quiet. So in hindsight, this was not the case to speed build in. I'm just gonna start getting these in while I wait. You're probably thinking, wow, I thought this guy was really good. Turns out the power of editing just makes him not looking like an idiot. Why? Why can't they just be like NZXT? It's a total of five screws to get the shroud out. You have got to be kidding me. They put five screws, the fifth one you can't even touch. What if I do this? What if I... Fuck the instructions! That shit's for quitters. Oh, right here, like this. I cannot reach in and screw the other two bottom screws down. So you guys are just gonna give me a little winky face because we both acknowledge that I'm not, I don't need to do that. Let's get this. We're gonna start threading our cables through. Yes? Yes! Okay, CPU cables in. Uh, I need to put the graphics card in. I'm pretty sure th that's it. Is that it? That's that? These boxes are in the way. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not gonna lie, this card is thick. Okay, there's eight minutes left. I think I could get the, the computer to power on. Would the build be done? No, but I could get the computer to power on. Oh, come on, get out, get out. Okay, fuck that piece. Get in, this cable's so short. Ah, uh, there we go. Get in there. I can may I can maybe barely get this shit on time. Wait a second. Am I gonna get this? <laughs> okay. Ah! 
No, don't choke! You've come so far, don't choke! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where's the power button on this thing? Where's the power button? No, I didn't connect it correctly! No! Wait, can I short circuit it? Will it still go? No! I was so close! No! Wait, what? Well, Come on! <laughs> no, did I really? Was it a front panel connection that I fucked up? Was it a front panel connection? No! The lights are coming out. You can see this thing is functioning. You can see that it's functioning. Oh my god! Did I miss a front panel connection? What was it? So, the computer is not turning on, but there's clearly power going through the motherboard. But there are certain things that are happening in here right now that lead me to believe that the motherboard probably is dead, but certain parts of it are still functional. So, I did finish this in under an hour, all right? The proof is there, but uh, just to figure out whether or not it really is the motherboard, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out another B450 board that I have lying around, and uh, we'll figure out what this actually is. Okay, I've switched out the motherboard. I've put all the parts back in. Only took about two. <laughs> We're at the two hour mark, all right, let's see. Please say psych. Uh... So after 16 hairs have been pulled out of my eyebrow and about a handful of hair of my head has been sent onto the ground, I, uh, I cannot figure out what is wrong with this computer for the life of me. I I'm gonna blame it on myself. This was a trial run, okay? If you don't like the ending of this video, I apologize. You know, my bad. Um, but I did have it done in an hour. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this again in the future, but we're gonna do it better than an hour. We're gonna one up our time, okay? This is not the end. We will be back. This is not over. All right, so before the video ends, thank you guys again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I have to remind you guys one more time, the video is sponsored by NordVPN. Seriously, if you use the internet, you need to get what they are offering. Links are in the description for their product, nordvpn.com slash Christopher Go ahead and check it out. And again, thank you guys so much. I hope you have an incredible day. I'm